All right, so we are diving into Meister Task, and I'm gonna walk you through just kind of the basics and the overall lay of the land, and I'm gonna give you a couple examples of how I am using this to be more efficient in my business and to really make sure that I do not get distracted when I'm working on things that move the business forward. So over here, um, this is kind of the default layout that you'll see here. You'll see that there's a task checklist and then they list all the projects from A to Z. You'll see over here, these are all the different projects that are available. And then this is kind of like the dashboard, which you can customize here. So over here, these are the projects and you can reorder them just by simply dragging and dropping so that you can have the ones that you use the most up at the top. I'm gonna just kind of walk you through the basics of a project and then I will show you a couple of examples of how I'm using this. So if we go in here to create a new project, let's just call this test project and then here is where you would go ahead and you'd share it with anybody that you want to share it with um, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit create project so as you will see right here this is kind of like the dashboard that is available this little drop-down box allows you to kind of oscillate between the different projects and then if you hit the info button here you can kind of get into the project properties you can create a link to share this project they have power-ups which are basically like just different ways to make Meister tasks more beneficial. You'll also see here you can add automation. So for example, when you assign this task, something happens and all of that sort of stuff. So there's lots of different ways in which you can do this. You can also make it like a recurring task. So knowing where this is and just kind of familiarizing yourself with like the different integrations and the different automations, that's super important. The other piece here is you can add a checklist. So what that means is you can create predefined checklists. So you, if you have a task that repeats, this is a great place to add that checklist so that every time you create this project, you're gonna have that checklist in place. And then of course you can add tags so to organize and label everything. So you could add a tag here saying like uh, project management. Um, you could add marketing and then you can kind of change the color to see what it likes, et cetera, et cetera. And then you could add custom fields if you have the business version. So the other option is you can make it over here. This little button makes it so everyone on the team can see it and everyone cannot, but that's assuming you have a team set up. So for example, if you have a team set up, the team will be able to see all of the projects that you have inside that team versus if you just add different users per project. Other thing that you can do over here is just, you can duplicate this, you can archive it, you can export it, you can export time tracking and all of the archive tasks and all that sort of fun stuff. So I'm gonna hit the done button on this and I'm just gonna kind of walk you through this. So these are the, different boards, if you will. And by default, there's always three here. So if I was thinking about a project, I would probably have like a master projects link that I would put in here. And the same goes for down here. So if you click this little down arrow, you can change the colors here. You can add automations. You can also change the little buttons and all that sort of stuff. You can also, and this is a really cool tip, you can take this right here and you can copy this email. And what that means is that you can send emails to this board on this project. And what you'd wanna do is you wanna go into your contacts on your email and then you'd save that like test project master project link or whatever you want to call it you might want to add one of these boards that's like master or critical issues or you know ideas and then you can kind of dump everything into the idea thing and then organize it later on so that way if you're in your email you don't have to leave so that's a really cool feature on this but ultimately you'd have like your master project link and then you could say like okay here's what i have going on you know, here's the pre-work or however you wanted to divide it, right? So you could say like research, phase one, phase two and so on and so forth, right? So then once you have kind of your board set up, you then can come in here and say, okay, what are all the different 
tasks that need to happen. So say for example, we wanted to add a um, spreadsheet. So we could call this like the master blog link, right? And in the master blog link, we can add notes. So insert sample notes here. We could add checklist items. So you could be like step one, step two, step three. Okay. Um, you could add attachments. So from your Google Drive, your box, all that sort of stuff. So you just grab that. Say yes. So then I could just come in here and say, okay, I want this master blog thing to be selected right here. So it would add the attachment nice and easily right there for you so that you're able to access it. You could also comment and talk to people in your team. So if I had someone from my team on here, I could say at, you know, all project members or at someone specific. So that would be where kind of you chat. Um, the other thing that you can do here is you can add due dates. Okay, and the due dates, you can make them contingent. So this thing has to be finished before other tasks can be complete. Um, you can pin this, right? So you wanna focus on this. You want, this is, is a reply. You're like, you're gonna reply to it. It's upcoming and you're, or you're waiting for something. You can also add the tags here, like we talked about before. You can also ask people who are watching this project. And then of course you can assign this project to different people. So I can assign this to myself and I can also make it so this, I can repeat this task. I can mark it as complete. And then I can also copy the link to this specific task so that I can send stuff here. And those are the basics. And then you just go through and you'd say, okay, I'm gonna open this um, or whatever that is. And you can go through and you can just add different things here and here and here and here and here. So that's kind of like the overview of how to use it. And again, you'd wanna hit this button to share it with people and they have like this cool activity bar so you can kind of see everything that's going on. You can see, you can filter through tasks. And so it's a pretty robust system, but how I really like using this and how I'm recommending for clients to use it is to think about the different ways in which you might have stuff that's recurring. So for example, like you could take this master project link and rather than having it be for a project, you could essentially make it for ongoing tasks. So like every Monday, you're gonna do all these tasks and every Tuesday, you're gonna do all these tasks and every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so on. And then I would ultimately also make some like, okay, so let's just put um, social media as an example here, okay? So with this particular task, you'd click into it and you can add the tag high priority, right? So add a tag, high priority. You'd make that red, hit done, and then you click high priority, and you could then label all your tasks throughout the day, right? So if you knew every Monday you wanted to do X, Y, Z task and kind of take like a time blocking approach like I did in the previous week, you would then be like high priority, high priority, high priority, medium, medium, medium. And then what I would recommend is you create like you know, maybe Friday, the day of the week, is anything that doesn't get done throughout the week, you can then take these and slide these over to that day. So then, you know, on Friday, you're gonna finish up whatever you need to do for the week. This is a great way in which to organize your weeks because when you organize your, your calendar in this way or you ma manage your time in this way, you're not gonna go into your email or into Facebook and get distracted with all of the things. So let me kind of show you how I manage my ongoing marketing tasks as an example. So this is how I manage my ongoing marketing tasks. Now, there is a fair amount of stuff that I need to add to this, um, but this gives me a template to work from. So as you can see over here, I have my master documents. So these are all of my documents. Um, this is what happens daily. This is what happens weekly. This is what happens monthly. We haven't added in the quarterly stuff yet, but as you can see, it gives me like a very good list of things that I need to do each and every week. And I know Andrew has a few things in here and he has it set up so he can go through and say, okay, here are all the YouTube tasks that I need to do. Here are all the podcast tasks that need to happen. And then what we can do is we can sit here and say, okay, this repeats 
And then this repeats every one week on every Tuesday, so weekly on Tuesday. So then we would just hit done and that would be assigned to Andrew each and every week. You have to select Andrew. Um, that would be assigned to Andrew each and every week on Tuesday. Same thing for the YouTube tasks, right? We can come in here and we can say Andrew and we can say, this is gonna repeat on Tuesdays. We're gonna say it repeats every Tuesday starting here and then those would all be assigned to Andrew and then they would repeat weekly and then you can also make these contingents so like Andrew is blocked by my not creating the video in the first place right so you can kind of set it up so like everyone's activities are contingent the way that I kind of use this piece of it, Andrew keeps his own stuff in his own project. Basically, I come in here and I don't get distracted by anything. So I can come in here and say, okay, here, here's what I need to do each and every day to make sure that I am staying on task with all of the different things that I need to do. The other way in which I've used this is like projects and weekly commitments. And we're moving everything over to this platform. And what we're doing is, I will put all my critical issues that I have in here that I want to go over Andrew with on our weekly call. And then all the tasks that I'm working on, anything that I need to review, like I said, Andrew is moving over to here slowly. Um, but this is a great way to organize your stuff. So think about how you want to do it. I was working with a client the other day and we were saying for her, you know, she wants to do the same thing every Monday, the same thing every Tuesday. And so when we, you can kind of get everything in one spot like this, it becomes really, really easy to make sure that you're doing the same thing every week, no matter what. What. And like I said, you can also, if you get all the tasks in here, you can make them contingent on the different things that you are doing, which is super duper cool. So I hope this is super helpful to you. This is like one of my favorite, favorite, favorite ways to organize my tasks. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. I super appreciate um, all of the new subscribers and we put out new videos each and every week. So thanks so much for tuning in.